Everybody, so I want to start my speech off with a little poll of the audience. How many of you are here and are ready to make history by legalizing marijuana in Colorado this year? <laughs> See, and that is why you should all vote for me for the candidate for a board member because I think I have the most experience and the greatest diversity of experience to make something like that happen and make sure all projects from here on out have somebody that has the passion to actually back them up to completion. Because that's the big thing. Being a board member, you need to get a fundraising experience and the passion to actually show our vision to the rest of the world and implement it. So I'm actually the only candidate that has been on the board before. I was one of the founders of the Diversity Committee. So I'm very proud to say the Diversity Committee is still kicking ass and I'm really happy to hear that. So I've had a lot of experience raising money, dealing with different problems, and I've done a lot of work specifically on whatever tasks are really, really difficult. So I was able to actually run for office as an independent student candidate drug policy reformer. Yeah. So it's definitely something that was a little bit difficult and I had a great time doing it, but it showed all of the other SSD peers in the world, because yeah, now we're in the world, that's just the country. So all the other SSD peers in the world that anything is possible when SSDP puts their mind to it. So even changing policies in Connecticut, the land of steady habits, where we decriminalized marijuana while I was on the board, that was definitely an accomplishment that I felt extremely proud of. Because I was one of those students that in high school was actually suspended for 45 school days and thrown out of my support network simply for smoking marijuana off campus. So now in Connecticut, that will not happen to the people that are in high school anymore. And that's a big difference. Now, as a chapter leader, I want to go real quick. I was the CFO of our chapter for many years. I secured over $100,000 for activist groups going through the student government, and eventually ran and won this chief financial officer position. So I was able to oversee a budget of $1.5 million. So I'm very capable of handling the breadth of difficulty that will come with being a board member, but I want to say that my number one priority is that all of us are written down in the history books as the greatest student organization that was able to finally legalize marijuana in Colorado and bring the war on drugs to an end. And with your vote, I can make sure that we do that this year. So please vote for Jason Ortiz. And if you have any questions, feel free to come. But let's make history together.